Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Woo! I feel like it's been a minute. First and foremost, I want to wish everybody a happy Friday. I hope everybody's having a great day and I hope y'all are prepared for the weekend coming up. To spice your Friday up, today we're going to be doing a custom on a pair of Game Royal Air Jordan 1s and converting them into Fragment 1s. I want to give a huge shout out to my homie Andrew G for giving me this job. I always like the idea of taking a sneaker and converting it into a more expensive sneaker. I understand that a lot of sneakers can seem to be out of your price range, but honestly, taking one sneaker and making it into another is probably one of the best feelings ever. With that being said, all of the supplies that we're using in this video can be found in the link down below in the description that will take you to Angelus Direct. Huge shout out to my family over there by the way. And I believe that the Game Royals are still available on footlocker.com so I will have that link below in the description as well. If we could get over 2,000 likes on this video, I promise you guys that I'll be bringing more customs very soon. So definitely make sure to smash that like button. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed already, what are you doing man? Hit that subscribe button and show some love. And and just a quick side note, I'm not taking any customers pairs at the moment being that I am in school. In about a month, I'll be graduated from college, so I'll be down to take you guys' orders then. And I feel like I haven't said this in a while, so you already know what time it is. It's time to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's go! <laughs> The materials we're going to be using for this custom are very simple. Some acetone, flat black from Angelus Direct, some painter's tape, cotton balls, and also a paintbrush. I like to go with the number two angular brush from Angelus Direct. And if you guys have the luxury of using a fresh brush, I would highly recommend it. By now, you should already know the drill. You got to take those laces off and remove those inserts. There ain't nobody by your side, and ain't nobody there to lean, and ain't nobody in my mirror, ain't no fresh air in between. When the vision keep on playing, and you're trying to live your dream, all you want to say is stop and let me feel it how it seems. See, they treat me like I'm famous, yet they acting like I'm... For this specific pair, I would recommend taping up the midsoles. I usually don't do this when I strip the factory coat off of the leather, but for some reason on this pair, the paint on the blue is super thick, and it may end up rubbing on places you don't want it to rub. In this video, we're using acetone, but you can also replace that for nail polish remover that has acetone in it so when you looking for the pay you ain't even met the rolling radio will overplay and trust me man it's coming since the start up in the way I'm not doing we're going to start off by prepping the areas that we are going to paint there's no need to prep the white on this one because we're not painting on the white we're just strictly painting on the blue as you can see some of those paint specks are rubbing off on the midsole already so that's why I went ahead and taped that up so the blue doesn't get onto the white I didn't end up taping the toe box because I felt like I had pretty good control of that but I would highly recommend to tape it up if you don't trust yourself. Hey, I'm getting noticed out in Hollywood. I knew that was you. People ask me for a pick. I want to pick with you too. How long have you known my name and what song have you heard? Nike's on my feet is legend, bro. I know every word. I mean, damn. It's super important to make sure that you go over all of the blue until it is smooth. If you leave lumps on the surface, you're going to see that on your paint job. You know the bug needs a view of the ocean. Did this LA live and bring these urges to splurge? And since when did my emotions and materials merge? I feel myself changing. But yet I don't wanna stop it Hoes love a golden rope Thinking maybe I'll cop it Maybe a pair of Yeezys Make the pussy seem easy But if the pussy come easy It ain't as good man Believe me I swear Now I'm back and I'm just speaking on You'll know if you did this process right If the leather feels a little bit sticky And it feels nice and smooth You'll see that the leather starts looking a little bit faded And honestly it looks pretty sick in my opinion But we're gonna go straight with the black on this pair Like I said we're going with the fragment colorway So we're gonna be copying that exact same color blocking <laughs> For the first coat, I always like to start off light. Start off light and build the coats up. When I first started painting sneakers, I believed that, you know, two coats of black was good enough because it would fill up since it's a very dark pigment. But I learned that if you add very small coats, it won't last as long as if you added more coats. For this custom, I would recommend doing four to five coats of black just to get that nice durability on it.
And don't forget the edges. The edges will make or break this custom. Never turn into a this. I hope you use your head before you come in at the prince. Bell layer down the road, but never had it like dismiss. Said I'm the dude that moved out at 16. Small town boy made it to the big screen. Cape Cod, now I'm out here next to Drake. Got me like yay, kid I'm a on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this custom as far as ease goes at an easy. Don't get me wrong, there's spots that you're going to need to be very careful, but I feel like this is the perfect shoe to work on if you're just getting into customs. There's very little that you can mess up on here, and it's very simple to learn the basics on this custom. So for any of y'all that are trying to do this, hey, try it out. Don't be scared, you got this. I don't know what you heard, but I... Hey, I heard it's over there, so I had to bring it here. Had to let them nines know why I say the end is near. Crazy, a million plays just to rob. Now these Instagram hoes saying, Rolly, you should dive. Oh, well, I don't really know how to swim when it's shallow. And I don't really want you sucking me unless you swallow. I see through fake personas, don't waste my time. A hundred K yearly coming soon, unsigned. We spoke on income, know that things have changed. I test drove Bentleys, almost crashed the range. I spoke my dreams, I advanced my moves. Then I beat the case, I don't got shit to prove. I don't have no plugs, man, I'm from myself. I don't come from money. Just make sure those edges are taken care of because that's how you'll be able to tell a quality job versus an amateur job. I don't know what you heard, but I ain't stopping till they call me the one. I said, I don't know what you heard, but I After four to five coats, this is what your sneaker will be looking like. Pretty sick, right? It looks like you almost have a pair of Fragment Ones. How to turn a $160 shoe into a $1,000 shoe. That's dope. Balling on a budget, baby. later, so I had to show them now that I'ma change the game with these words I'm writing down. That nobody in it wanted with me pound for pound. I'm not these up and comers that just think they found a sound. Told them that I'm scarred when you mix a little symbol. Told them you July and then we almost in December. Told them they- Lastly, we're gonna be using these stencils from Sophie Sofs. I want to give a huge shout out to her. She's been killing it on the stencil game. If you guys are interested, her stencils will be down below in the description as well. Custom fragment logos are going on to these babies right here. When you first get a stencil, it's gonna look all black like this. All you need to do is get an X-Acto knife and remove the image that you wanna show on the shoe. Take your time, be very gentle. This is a very delicate process. It's not super difficult though, you got it. I told you I could change the world with a sense that clicked a bunch of words and Once you have all of that peeled off, you're gonna get your transfer paper. Just cut a little square out enough to cover the stencil that you just got Don't be stupid. Don't be dumb. Don't judge me off of where I'm from. You're then going to stick it to the stencil Remove the paper backing and then find the right placement for your logo. This is probably the hardest part, but once you look at pictures for references, you'll be good to go. After it's all placed, you can go ahead and remove the transfer paper, make sure not to lift the stencil off of the surface, and heat it up with a heat gun to ensure that it sticks while you're painting. Fans, those fans in love with plans. Started on the low, now I'm addicted to the heights, and trying to live better, so hit the cameras and the lights. We're doing seven black coats on this one to ensure that the paint doesn't pull off when we take the stencil off. That's just the way that it goes. You can go ahead and speed up the process with the heat gun. I told you I could change the world and I will when I'm ready. Hey, a bunch of words I got loaded and deadly. Steady, ready, you petty rappers ahead. And once it's all done and dry, I like to peel away from the part that we just painted. It just makes the stencil cut a little bit easier. And boom, you got a fragment logo. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have seen this already. So I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that has been holding it down with the kid. If you guys aren't following me yet, you're slacking. Sneakerhead in the Bay is the Instagram, and Bay Area Shoehead is the Snapchat. Make sure to check it out, give your boy a follow. If you guys like this video, like I said, hit that like button, show some love and support, and more videos like this will be coming soon, all right? I will catch you guys next time. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. Have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace. It ain't all good, but it's all good. I said it's all good. It ain't all good, but it's all good. But it's but 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 it's all good. It ain't all good, but it's all good. I said it's all good. It ain't all good, but it's all good. But it's but 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 it's all good. Uh, realizing the realism of life, and actually it ain't half bad. I'm putting in and yang in the same bag. I got another.